Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another official Motor Mike video on the World Wide Web. Today we are back with my good friend, Mr. Ryan, and we are going to be covering a video topic I have done exactly one year ago when we compared the blue Mustang named Priscilla to the 73 Volkswagen Beetle named Judy. And we're going to go over these cars, brief history of what it was like owning these cars for a year since I had them both around the same time. We're gonna talk about the minor changes I made to both and the experiences they bring down with people. Right? Oh, yeah. I just drove it. So he's gonna give us his opinion about the Mustang and we'll go for a little cruise and we'll just enjoy the beautiful day out. Hopefully it stays like this and we'll have more videos coming soon. Okay, so which one do we wanna start off with first? Start off with this baby. All right, the 2010 Ford Mustang V6, baby. Now I have owned this car exactly over a year now and it's been a pretty good car. I have to say it's been a pretty good car. I've enjoyed it a lot. But there was one problem, Ryan. One problem. One problem. A lot, problem is. a lot of deferred maintenance, my friend. Yeah, deferred maintenance. Deferred maintenance, bro. So there was a lot of deferred maintenance with the car, as you guys so know. I made a couple videos about that. But overall, ever since I got it fixed, it's been running well. No check engine lights, right? No. Not a not a single one. So pretty much the change I made to this car might be very obvious. Okay, Ryan, tell us about the, the beautiful Mustang. What do you think about it? So like I said, I, I drive a Civic and uh, this thing just wants to go. My Civic's like, oh, let's just do 20 all day long. <laughs> this thing wants to go at 100 all the time. <laughs> I can tell in the pedal and it's really nice. Interior is great. Just a little bit of, uh, you know. Uh, oh, the dog the toy. Sunshine. Yeah, the, through the steering, the, the window, a lot of sun glider. Those steering wheels, like the rubbery. Feels like, a, yeah. feels like a dog toy. Hey, I like dogs. It's round. <laughs> it's round. It works. You know, Apple CarPlay in there. Whoever had this before hooked it up. Yeah, it's we, nice. Yeah, we also have, you know, the side louvers. A lot of people do this. Simple yeah. stuff. Side louvers, real Shelby badge. Oh, somebody made a comment about the Shelby badge in the last video. They're like, ooh, take it off. Well, the reason we don't take it off is because we're symbolic of the heritage of the Ford. We're just honored, honoring we the love, heritage. We love the Shelby. We love the Shelby. But we can't afford it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And we could try to make it look like a Shelby. So, aftermarket exhaust. It makes a nice sound. We'll get some revs in a minute here. But overall, a uh, decent car. Decent car. Gets the job done. Now, I think we should talk about the channel's personal favorite now. Oh, yeah. I feel like there's a... I that, feel like that's the most horsepower out of both of these. Exactly. Believe it or not. <laughs> so right here is the 73 Volkswagen Beetle named Judy. We've had this car same amount of time as the Mustang. And also I think I feel, I feel like it's the personal favorite. Yeah, it's just classic. I feel like this is the personal favorite for a lot of people. A lot of people recognize the bug now, which is crazy. And let's go over what we've done. So pretty much what we've done nothing up here really i have to get a new bumper though that's all rusty and the paint's old what color do you think we should uh, repaint this i don't know that's a good question i love this color because it's just so different it stands out yeah maybe we should go something uh similar that stands out something as well like something that would you know be nice with the mustang exactly because that mustang's a bright color something yeah something bright something and this too out. is a nice color yeah i'm thinking well, let's, let's not spoil it. Let's save it for a yeah, future Motor Mike video. video. I'll tell you off camera. Yeah. So pretty much the roof rack is brand, well, not brand new, but we have the new roof rack on here, which I think completes the look of the car a lot. Yeah. I think it really suits, you know, the vintage car look, the classic hippie Volkswagen look. I liked when you did, it was Christmas time, you put the tree up. Top. Yeah, but I'll, I'll, insert a, cool. I'll insert a clip of the Christmas tree we had riding on top. But yeah, the roof rack's pretty much brand new, and it's interesting how this works, because it literally from the door it just it's just a little clamp on the door and you just hang it down with a wing nut so very simple you yeah. know simple german engineering on that and what we also did too is we installed these aftermarket auto auto zone exhaust tips oh yeah give it a little hot rod flare you know no we got those on ryan how? With a drill and some screw uh some wood screws wood screws wood screws wow. you got the wood screws going through there you go. Yeah. Gotta show the ingenuity off. You would have never known if I if I didn't show you. No. Never. Never ever. A lot of people were saying, oh, your exhaust tips are hanging up. It's gonna rust out the muffler. Joke's on you. The muffler is already rusted out. <laughs> so ha, take Sometimes that. You haters. <laughs> Joke's on you. That muffler is shot already. 
So yeah, the inside is pretty much the same same story. Oh, if you could, let's show them. The, let's actually show them the, the hidden feature on here. Oh yeah, the hidden so, feature. So uh, let's go to the front, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do the feature. The feature. So <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a new feature of the bug. We did put it in the speaker. I had a couple of my friends hook it up. We wired it underneath. And that's why it's so loud, because it's pretty much right underneath this fender over here. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I've done. No performance enhancements yet. Uh, honestly, I want to make sure the car's reliable enough before I do that. Exactly. The reliability bug, first. <laughs> exactly, reliability first. A lot of people don't know that, Ryan. The bug has been great mechanically. Yeah. Besides doing the brakes, which were original. And it was the, what, what were you fixing it, when you pulled up to the like, it was It was the idle. I'm always fiddling with the carburetor. But I think it was only the, um, the brakes and the starter that went out. Everything else has been good so far. The belt's good. I, I chuck it over every now and again, top it off for oil. The Mustang did need a couple of things, yeah. but that was all maintenance stuff, you know? So, but mechanically, that motor is sound. Deferred maintenance. Deferred maintenance. No. <laughs> nah. So I think today, since we all have seen the bug a lot, and it's pretty much everywhere on the motor mic channel i think you and i should go for a quick spin in the mustang oh yeah we'll leave the buggy here next to the, the equipment oh yeah and yeah we'll uh we'll go for a spin and we will get your input what a beautiful view we're walking up to eh, ryan what a what a simply gorgeous view right here beautiful color you want to start it up for us so we can hear what it's like <laughs> listen to that that sounds good that sounds mean right there that sounds hella nice and by the way we did let the car warm up we just got done driving it so we're not revving it while it's cold do you hear the little the little backfire I hear that. no not backfire but the little oh yeah i think it's because of that exhaust if that exhaust goes i'm gonna be so sad it better not it better not it better stay right there we're gonna have problems if it does problems problems we're gonna beat the car up <laughs> but yeah let's go for a spin there's the bug back there it's gonna be chilling for now Let's go for a spin and we'll enjoy the car. So this must be a familiar sight for old motor Mike fans coming out of the park, going on the road. Well, how we doing, bro? We chilling? I love it. You love it? <laughs> Man in love. Honestly, for me, I feel cooler riding in this car than driving it. I don't know why. why? That's that's just me. It's because you own it. Yeah, maybe. You think so? I think so. I just spat all over you. I'm sorry about that. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's a beautiful day out. We're in a bright blue Mustang, living the American dream. American dream, baby. Absolutely. Just cruising, man. Oh, yeah. Windows down, chilling out. Oh. Stop sign. So it's just the brakes out. Oh, yeah. Stop's good. There you go. The glare is so bad, it didn't even. <laughs> <laughs> You're chilling, man. Yeah, the glare is pretty bad. Not on the, surprisingly, not on the camera, though. But from where you're sitting, yeah, I, I, can, I can see. Can't. <laughs> I feel you, bro. I hear you. Yeah. Check this thing out we found. A little Honda K truck on the Motor Mike YouTube channel. Also, Rolls Royce back there. But look at this thing, a little Honda K. Brian, what do you think? We should trade it in? No. Try to get one of those? <laughs> Definitely not. You know, since the road's clear, you want to give it a little bit? Sure. I don't see any uh, hazardous materials around. <laughs> You like? You like? You want to be on a YouTube video? No, nah, not away. <laughs> I hear you, bro. I hear you. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So how was that? I'm very happy. Little son. <laughs> Whatever guy's gonna let somebody else like send their Mustang, you know? <laughs> Only motor mic. Only motor mic. Only because I trust you too. Yeah. You have earned my trust, my dear. Thank God. My dear colleague. I get the proof. The privilege of being with the motor mic with the Mustang. Oh, you gotta give me one more. Floor it, floor it, floor it. Whee! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fun, right? Yeah. Makes a good sound. I see a guy on a bike up there. You wanna race him? Yeah, I'll race him. He's just cruising. Got him, smoked him. Smoked, smoked him. No so that was our fun little outing with the Mustang. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's Motor Mike YouTube video. Thank you so much, Ryan. Absolutely. For coming out. <laughs> <laughs>
But if you guys did enjoy, we have more videos coming up soon. Sorry, the uploads have been a little sporadic. Life is getting busy. Things are happening. That's right. And we're just chilling. But if you guys are a fan of classic Volkswagens or Mustangs, definitely subscribe to the Motor Mike channel. We are at 465 subscribers in one year. Let's try to hit 1,000 by the end of this year. Get some monetization, and that way you guys can get better videos. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Thank you, Ryan, once again for coming out. Oh, yeah. And we shall see you in the next upload.